Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Got my lucky cup again. I think I'm going to use this cup all the way up until <laughs> at least for the rest of this week, maybe into next week, okay? Because I'm, I'm waiting on the government to decide on what they're going to do about this shutdown, possible shutdown, okay? Um, once I hear some clarity on that, then I can put this cup away and then the market can turn around, okay? But anyway, TTOO. What's happening? We all know what's happening, okay? A lot of things in the market is down. A lot of stuff is getting pushed down. It's just unfortunate that this is happening now to TTOO because they're, they really need to get to that dollar, okay? Now, there's some talks about the reverse split. Um, is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? I mean, I have no clue, okay? It is an option for them to do that. As we know, companies do that so they can make their stock look more attractive and so they can stay on the NASDAQ, okay? And sometime when their stock look more attractive, some people may buy into it, some not, okay? But they have to be back above a dollar. And I have a date, um, November. I'm looking at November 10th, okay? If they're not above a dollar or riding above a dollar by or before the november 10th they will only have if i'm not if i calculate it right after november 10th they only have 10 days left to stay compliant okay if they're not doing having 10 days consecutive 10 days in a row or 10 days being above a dollar then they're going to get delisted so i have it set on my calendar and my phone um, they got another month and a half or something like that to be compliant. Okay. So I'm running on that. Um, now the closer it approaches that they probably going to pull out the reverse split. Like if they're not at above a dollar, they're going to definitely pull that out so they can stay on the NASDAQ because they have a good thing going. They do not want to get delisted because once things go to the OTC market, it's almost like that's like the last leg, pretty much. Like it's like the last leg. And some companies pull out of OTC and some don't. Okay. Some just stay there forever. But hopefully things can turn around. Hopefully some good news come through and can push this back up. Um, right now we're below the high from yesterday. We're down seven uh, point seven seven percent seven and a half percent um and for the week we're down 44 um for the month we're down 43 and but on the three month period we're actually up year to date we're down 85 percent so let's go ahead and go look at the cues real quick and there's some other things i'm looking at also let's go ahead and look at the cues let me see if i can bring that up Spy is probably down. The spy is down from its previous high yesterday of uh, 0.32%. The Q is down 30 something, and this is down of 1.08. Okay, so everything's down right now. Is the spy is the market going to continue to flush down? Well, I'm like looking at a lot of things, and it looks like a lot of things are just pushing down. Unfortunate, and and I really do think it's because of the possible shut down and that's why the whole market's down someone made in the comment said um september is always a month of of the market just kind of pulling back and i don't i'm not sure yeah he may be right he may be right but let's go ahead and look at this i was looking at this stock here i just got this kind of on the back burner I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it um i'm just watching it okay i'm trying to see what kind of moves it's going to make um ttoo there was another stock that let's go right here okay so i'm definitely keeping my eye on this okay um i'm hearing some news about it a lot of people are starting to talk about it i i think it did go over like 300 something million shares yesterday that's kind of what i've heard 
I haven't dug and researched this, but so I just went on and only bought 35 shares, which is not a lot. Okay. It's not a lot, but I just, sometimes I buy penny shares. I just buy a few just to see what it's going to do, um, to see how it's going to move. And then once I can tell like the, the percentage swings or how much it swings, if it's very volatile, then I kind of go in heavy depending on what it does. Okay. But I got, I definitely have my eye on this. I'm not telling you to go buy it or nothing, but I have my eye on it. Um, but I think that's it. Let me see. Then, um, and what else? What else? What else? Just so TTO is still down. I think, I think we're going to, um, probably have a nice, like little run up. And then I think we're going to probably come back down here and test this 19 because I could have sworn I see 19. Yeah. Yeah. We're probably going to see nine, more of 19 today. Okay. We definitely gonna have a spike up then probably come back down. If the whole market start pulling down, we're going to come down. It's just, it's just how it is. Um, but if we have a nice run, it will be good because I'm definitely in the hole on this stock. Um, am I worried? No, I'm not worried because I'm playing with house money. All the money that's pretty much there is house money. Okay. Um, money I made off of other stocks. So I'm not worried about it. And let's go ahead and look at uh, Mullen real quick. See what it's doing. It's still hovering around. It's 50 cent. It's 54 cent. It's just hanging. It's just, I don't know what's going on. Um, the volume is very, very low. And it's just kind of hovering. Like on the three month period, we're out, all the way down. <clears throat> we're just hovering around this 50, this 50 area, okay? Hopefully um, something co good come out of this. I'm really waiting on a pullback before a nice run up on Mullen, honestly. Uh, AMC is still in that $8 area. Um, when did it break nine? Did it even go past nine like within last week? No, it hasn't. Um, yeah, it hasn't. It's just, it just kind of fooling people like with these fake run ups and people are buying and selling and it's not a lot of volume. So I'm not really paying attention to that. I just got it on the back burner. Um, I think that's it. And you know, everyone is watching this finger, hoping for a squeeze, which I don't think it's going to, it's not, I don't think it's going to happen. So that's why I don't have any shares of that. Okay. If anything, I wait for a, a big pull down and then I'll probably buy back in because it was a nice run up right here and that's gone. Okay. What was this? Uh, I'll watch you later. Okay. And yeah, so it's back now. It's back down to like it was over here. When is the next run up? It always, it always have like a, this big run up and then the sell off, then a run up, sell off, run up, sell off. So this is kind of a stock that you can probably, if I wanted to, I can do like some scalping because I can see these bottom areas right here. And that's probably a good time, a good entry point to come in over here, over here, or over here okay um depending on how far it pulls back so everyone's watching that some people are still watching arms some people are watching cart but everything's down right everything's just down that's it guys um i'm just waiting for this week to be over i'm waiting for until next week before i really see some really ex excitement like some really good movements in the stock they just need to get back to work in the government. Well, they are working, but they just need to get past this government shutdown thing so the market can get back to normal, okay? Slowly get back to normal. But that's it, guys. I have to go. I'll see you in the next one. And thank you for stopping by. If you're new, hit the subscribe and hit the thumbs up. All right, guys, take care. Peace.